Welcome once again to another edition of Shelf Life Book Reviews Online. One of the joys of uh, publishing Shelf Life for the past 23 years has been the fact there have been so many diverse books of all genres. Um, mystery books are the books that we receive the most for review. And um, the joy of this is the fact that there's something for everybody. If you like uh, gory mysteries, you're in your glory sometimes. If you like very light murder mysteries where there's very little violence, you're in your glory too. But the fact is the diversity of the, the mysteries. And uh, what I'm going to bring to you, to your attention today, are two very different books. Um, they're mysteries and um, they're very, very different. The first one is Faithless in Death by J.D. Robb. This is published by St. Martin's Press and it retails for $38.50. Those who know the In Death series by J.D. Robb, who is also known as Nora Roberts, um, will come to appreciate these futuristic books. Um, they're detective mysteries and they're set in I think the year 2060, 2061. Uh, I don't know why she had to make them futuristic because they're still very tense murder mysteries. But in book 52 of the series, uh, Eve Dallas and her partner, partner Delia Peabody are once again on the trail of a killer. Um, a woman by the name of Ariel Bird, a sculptress, is found battered to death with a mallet in her home studio. Um, a lady by the name of Gwen Huffman found the body, but the interesting thing is Gwen Huffman did not call the police immediately. She went home and she relaxed and then she called the police an hour later. Now that immediately raised suspicions between Eve Dallas and Delia Peabody. So they went to see her and um, they realized that there were some unusual things going on. And upon further investigation, um, it was discovered that the late Ariel Bird and Gwen Huffman had a sexual liaison before her death. Now, um, Gwen Huffman is married and um, she actually, why she went to see Ariel Bird is she wanted a sculpture done for her husband's birthday. It was a special present to him. But uh, as we find out, Gwen Huffman is um, the daughter of one of the members of a cult called Natural Order. They are a very strict cult and um, they hold their members under their thumb. Um, when Delia and Eve go to investigate the head of Natural Order, they find a very secretive man, he and his daughter. Uh, they realize that this is a very, very strict cult. The women in the cult are not allowed very many privileges. All they want them for is to make babies. Uh, they find the children in the cult are, they're, they can hardly talk to people. They can't uh, associate with others outside their cult and um, the more they investigate, the more they find out, uh, well, Ariel Bird was killed for a reason. And um, uh, you suspect, of course, that Gwen Huffman did it because she was the one that found the body. But um, I can say she was not the killer, but I'm not going to tell you the, who the killer was. It is a surprise. But uh, as with a J.D. Robb book, there is great mystery great tension and uh, the characterizations are so well done. So if you're looking for a book and you have not been part of the In Death series, these In Death books that J.D. Robb writes are first rate and very highly recommended. And with book 52, the series is not getting stale. Uh, J.D. Robb knows how to write books. That is a sure thing. And so if you're going to the store for a good mystery, um, the In-Death series is definitely one that uh, you should look for. Now the second book, uh, which is so totally different from the first one, is Murder by Milk Bottle by Lynn Truss. This is published by Bloomsbury and it retails for $23. Uh, 
I have to admit, Murder by Milk Bottle is one of the most unusual titles I have ever read in a book, especially for a mystery, but it is a character-driven book, and it is very low-key, slow-paced, but that's okay. Um, you can read it at your leisure. It's not a book that you're going to want to just read from start to finish because you're so involved in it. Um, you can read a chapter here and a chapter there, and you will enjoy it. Um, the Murder by Milk Bottle involves three victims are found within a one-hour time frame, all murdered by a milk bottle. They were hit over the head first, and then the shards from the bottle were used to stab them to death. So the three victims are, one is the runner-up of a beauty queen pageant in the city, the other is a member of the Automobile Association, and the third one is a celebrity contestant on the local game show, What's Your Game? And uh, it uh, makes for very interesting, very light reading. Now, Constable Twitten is on the case. He has to find out why these three people were killed. They don't seem to have any relationship to one another. And um, he's been assigned this case by his, his boss, Jeffrey Stein, who is a sort of incompetent inspector in the police force. He's never had to deal with murders like this before. In fact, it's a very safe town. And so when three murders come, Constable Twitten gets the case. So he has to in look into who killed them and why a milk bottle. And uh, there's another interesting lady. Her name is Palmera Groins. That's G-R-O-Y-N-E-S. <laughs> She is a char lady at the police station, and she seems like a very innocent, you know, nondescript woman, but uh, as Constable Twitten finds out, she has some interesting secrets of her own that uh, the rest of the police force or other people do not know. It's n nothing to do with the murders, but she just has some, she's not exactly sweet angelic as one might anticipate. So um, the book plays out, um, like a British comedy. It's, it, it, it's like a farce at times, but um, that doesn't mean that you won't like it. Um, the slow paced, uh, for those who like their mysteries very slow paced, they will enjoy this book fully. And um, I recommend this book. Um, well, you gotta be intrigued by the title, Murder by Milk Bottle. That is definitely a title that you won't forget. And uh, so if you're looking for another interesting book that is very different from Faith Faithless in Death, then these two books are uh, books that you should seek out when you're at your local bookstore. So those are the two titles I wanted to bring to your attention this time out. Hopefully you will look for them. As always, I thank you for your time. I welcome your comments on Facebook, on the YouTube, and on the Goodreads page where these reviews also appear. So. Stay safe, stay sane, stay well, stay in touch, and uh, I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.